At Summer NAMM 2019, I wanted to make a different type of video that's typically done. I wanted to go in depth with philosophy and why certain pieces of gear were created. I wanted to go into the application and how this will change the way that we record or mix. Okay, I'm here with Eric of Locomotive Audio, and he has some really cool gear that I think you should know about. Uh, why don't you tell us what you have here? Thanks, Ryan. Uh, so we have the Locomotive line is our flagship line, and it is it's all tube-based stuff. We have a two-channel preamp. The uh, 286A is a two-channel preamp, and then the 14B is a single-channel very mu-style compressor. Um, both of these are, have been around for four or five years now and have gotten some pretty good reviews on the internet. And then the Way Tank line is our more economical and uh, it's, the, it's the line that would kind of be able to get into the hands of a lot of people. And it's also a two, all tube based stuff, V72 style pre and then another very mu style compressor. So explain what a V72 style pre would be. I right. Mean, what's the history behind so that? The, back, back in the 50s, uh, the V72s were uh, very popular in radio stations in Germany. And uh, the German uh, radio network designed these things to be overall pretty clean preamps. I mean, back in the day, they weren't trying to make color preamps at all. They were doing the best that they could to make it as clean as possible. So yeah. uh, the V72 style preamp is actually uh, a, a pretty low gain preamp. It's a, a 34 dB preamp. Um, so when somebody goes and remakes it or, or does their take on it, they have to add gain for all kinds of microphones now. So what we've done is gained it up to 56 dB of gain max. Wow. Um, so, uh, and, and you hear about, you know, the Beatles using the V72 style preamps yeah. back in the day, but, yeah. uh, and, and since then, uh, it, there's been a, a, a pretty good um, following, and a lot of people will re-rack re these modules, and uh, what we're doing, doing is trying to offer it at a pretty reasonable price. Yeah. $800. Okay, 800 bucks for that. Yeah, and single channel. And what are what kind of prices are we talking about for the locomotive audio? So locomotive audio, the two channel preamp uh, is twenty four ninety five, and then the single channel fourteen B is twenty three ninety five. Nice. Yeah. So tell me about uh, the uh, the copper line and really cool feature about changing the tone of the mics that right. you built in there. So the copper line is a, a new unit that we're going to be making this fall. Um, it's kind of a, what a user had mentioned yesterday, it's a, a Swiss Army knife of audio gear, basically. It's a, it's a essential toolbox. Um, it has everything on it. It has a high pass filter, it has a mute switch, a phase reverse, a, a, a loading switch to load down the input. It has phantom power on it. And the cool thing about this unit, and we've not seen it done before, is a variable voltage phantom power. So the, the idea is to underpower your mic if you want. We have uh, 52 volts all the way down to nine volts. And what happens is when you underpower your mic, everything goes out the window. All the specs go out the window. <laughs> so we're screwing it up in a good way. Yeah. Um, and in general, what it'll do is, every mic's different, but what it'll do is uh, transient response will change, frequency response will change. Uh, the overall um, tone of the mic is just going to be different. Some will cut out uh, yeah. at nine volts and not work at all. Some will cut out at 20 volts and not work at all. But if you find that threshold where, right where it sort of teeters over and it becomes a totally different mic, uh, it's a pretty neat thing. We had it on a U47 FET last night. Really? And at, at 20 volts, it was a completely different mic than at 52 volts. It was, uh, wow. the, the transients weren't there, it was smoothed out, it was, it was, a, it it's absolutely gives you variety. Yeah, that's really fascinating. It kind of reminds me of, um, uh, you know, I was watching a video about guitar pedals and how they construct them, and they almost make the circuit to where it barely can hold on. Right. Like, it barely is functional. Right. And it's that really sweet spot of cool tone that it's almost about to quit on you, right. but it's like that yep. really There's amazing. the threshold right yeah. there. And uh, 
Hey, people have been doing this for years with uh, guitar amps and yeah. underpowering them so right. they they break up early. And the idea is to sort of do the same thing with your microphone. And and as I said before, this is you know this is all in a whole analog thing. So like every microphone is going to be different the way it interfaces. Um, some will be pretty good down to nine volts, but just quieter. Um, so they're almost like padded basically. Yeah. Um, now, will it hurt the mic? Lowering, it will, the lowering the voltage won't hurt the mic because if you think about what we do when we turn off our phantom, it's lowering the voltage uh -oh. and yeah. um, it just won't work, you know. Okay. And, you know, I, I was talking to Mr. Peluso over here about his microphones and he thought it was an interesting idea. I'm like, I'm I'm here to mess up the sound of your microphone and he thought it was funny, you know, so. So really just going above the voltage. Yeah, we don't want to go, line. I mean, the, the standard for phantom power is 48 volts plus or minus four volts. So, okay. you know, we can go up to 52 volts. Um, you don't want to go over that and, and you right. could hurt some, some circuitry and too much current going through your mic and everything, but um, but lowering it, no big deal. Really cool. You know, it, it, if you think about it, some of these cheaper uh, it, it interfaces or little mixing boards don't even deliver 48 volts. Yeah. They, they just don't. I mean, yeah, and, like and, and your mic will, could, some are down in the 30s. Really? Yeah, and wow. uh, the mic will turn on. Uh, <laughs> it won't sound as good as it would it, it, if it was at, at its full voltage at yeah. the specs the designers designed it for. Right. I mean, this is what, you know, back in the, back whenever they decided that 48 volts was the, the standard, yeah. everybody started designing around that, you know? It's something we really take for granted, you know, because you, you kind of assume you're just going to kick on the phantom power and, right. you know, it's just going to do its thing yeah. and go through all these cables and stuff and well, you don't really and, give much thought. And not to mention that the phantom power itself, uh, whether it is 48 volts on two different units, could affect the mic differently because one might not be uh, filtered well enough, uh, it won't deliver the, the proper amount of current to the microphone. So right. there's a lot of those little cheap phantom power bricks that's not good phantom power. You want good quality, solid, triple distilled vodka phantom <laughs> power, basically. Ultra filtered, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. This has been really cool. I'm glad I came by. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for telling me a little bit about what you've been working on. All right. Thank you, Ryan. When I was screaming mad, you were unaware. Was I always invisible, or could you see me there? I never seemed to get through to you when I was screaming mad, you were unaware. Was I always invisible, or could you see me there? I never seemed to get through to you when I was screaming mad, you were unaware. Was I always invisible, or could you see me there? I never seemed to get through to you when I was screaming mad, you were unaware.
when I was screaming mad, you were unaware. Was I always invisible, or could you see me there? I never seemed to get through to you when I was screaming mad, you were unaware. Was I always invisible, or could you see me there? I never seemed to get through to you when I was screaming mad, you were unaware. Was I always invisible, or could you see me there?